Hello, and welcome to another success on Twitch series video. Today's video is going to be all about currency on Twitch. Currency on Twitch. And just to give you a little intro, if it's your first time seeing me, my name is Jeff Corrette, also known as JC6. That's my Twitch username. Um, some of my accomplishments are, uh, I just hit 1,300 followers on Twitch, and over the past 90 days, averaging about 7 viewers. Um, not, you know, I'm, I'm no ninja or anything like that, but uh, I remember when I was really struggling in the beginning, I would have killed to get 7 viewers per stream on average, so... Um, I know a lot of people can benefit from, from listening to, to these videos that I'm putting out. And, uh, and we're just going to hop right in. in Alright, here's how this will work. If you're in my stream right now, go ahead and at JC6 if you have a question. And I will make sure to answer it during the video. Make sure to do it sooner rather than later. Uh, if you got a question, throw it in the chat with at JC6. <coughs> Otherwise, I will interact with you after the recording. So... We're going to hop right in with the first question you might be wondering is, what is currency? What, What is currency? Well, currency is not something that's built into Twitch. It's actually built into the Twitch bots, such as Nightbot, the Streamlabs chatbot. Pretty much every bot that I know of has a currency system. And um, what it is, it's just like a credit system for your chat or for your community I don't like to call the community chat so much just because they're not chatters like they're not it's they're not a chat collectively they're you know part of your community or I mean they're real people it's not like a chat but I don't know maybe that's a nitpicky thing but anyway <coughs> currency is just a way for you to give credits to your community for various things that they can do and, uh, you know, they seem to really like it. And, um, you can give your currency a name. I gave mine weenies. I've seen all kind of different things. Pretty much anything that kind of has to do with your channel, you can just give it a name. Or, or your community or something. And mine, I just, I don't know, came up with it at the top of my head and thought it would be funny. So, <laughs> I don't have a better story than that. And so... Yeah. You give it, give your uh, currency a name that has something to do with your channel or your community or something like that. And, um, you know, people really seem to enjoy it. And so we'll, we'll get right into some different ways that, well, some reasons why you might want to use currency. The first reason is because it helps foster community. It kind of gives your community something to talk about, something to discuss, something to strive for a little bit. Uh, it just kind of adds a little something something to your channel. And uh, I don't know, really, you know, it doesn't seem like much, but it seems to bring people together a little bit in a variety of different ways, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, another reason you want to use currency is because it fosters competition in your community. Like I know in my stream I have a top 10. And people almost every single day type in exclamation point top 10 or top 5. And you can see who has the most currency in my, in my community. And there's a there's a few people who who go back and forth, um, to and try to earn as much as they can, or try to try to be number one. And if you're number one on that list, you're kind of like the head, uh, <laughs> you know, you're kind of like the head community member. You're the person who's done the most for the stream, like in terms of watching streams, in terms of like doing good things for the stream. And so yeah, it, it really does mean something to be number one for the currency. So people compete, you know. It's it's fun. And then the last reason you want to use currency 
Well, one of my favorite reasons you want to use currency is because it it uh it rewards the, you can reward your viewers with it. You can give them something to encourage them to do the right thing or to uh, promote the stream or whatever. It's just a way to reward reward your viewers without having to give give a giveaway every single time. You know that can get expensive. And let's be honest, most Twitch streamers aren't making any money at all. So, like, to do a giveaway, We're in the lead. you know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of business sense. And I believe that a Twitch stream is a business. Like, this guy should die. I believe a Twitch stream is a business at the end of the day. You're creating content. You're creating a product, which is which is you. You know, your content is a product. And you're, and you're trying to get... Um, you're trying to market your product and, um, you know, your very loyal business supporters, your mods, and that kind of, those kind of people who make your stream something that, you know, something that's fun to be around and, and, and answer questions when you're not able to and just be those awesome community members. You can reward them with currency and they really appreciate it. It's just something free you can do. So those are the top three reasons why you might want to use currency. Right? So we'll get into next my favorite ways to use currency personally with my stream. We'll start with the first one. I use Streamlabs Chatbot. It's my favorite bot and I've I've evaluated all of them. Every single every single one I think I went through and I, I did an analysis of what I liked, what I didn't like. I ended up on the Streamlabs chatbot. And one of the main reasons I like Streamlabs Chatbot is because it gave me the ability the to not only have chat games, but customize them. We got five minutes left. Like, uh, they have a heist, but you can actually go in the Streamlabs Chatbot and change your heist... We're in the lead. Um, change your heist wording to be something to do with your stream or your community or your currency. So I changed my regular heist to a weenie heist. Instead of a bank heist, we're, we're going to raid a, a weenie factory or something like that. So, um, that's, that's an example of a game that's really popular. We've got, we've got gambling. We had a, we had a thing, um, and Streamlabs chatbot allows you to, ha uh, go and get, like, scripts. People create scripts, which are basically other games that you can uh, install. I think I have more games than anybody that I've, any other stream I've ever been on. I've got more ch chat games than anybody else. And the reason why is because I spent a lot of time um, finding them and Googling them and installing them and testing them and configuring them. Um, and so that's just something that, uh, I mean, that kind of brings me to the next the next thing. Well, I'm still on number one. But really, the whole point is it gives, it gives it, it's a way to entertain people. It's a way to give people your, in your stream something to do. Lost the lead. Because there's going to be lulls in your stream. There's going to be boring parts of your stream. And... You know, if they've got nothing to do, you know, they might just click off. So you give, give them give them some games to play. And the games are not, you know, they're all gambling games. So they're gambling their credits. They're gambling their currency. Oh, we need two more kills to win this. They're, they're all gambling games so they can they can bet big. And, and you can, woo, we won. A lot of times you can set the variables, in, like like the winning percentage for different types of people in your stream. But the gambling slash games, it just gives people something to do. It gives them a way to potentially earn a bunch of uh, more credits or currency really quickly. Like if they have a run, um, and we'll, we'll get to this a little bit later, but you can you can integrate that with giveaways, which um, ha and, and I've got some stories about that. But um, yeah, that's my number one favorite way to use currency for the gambling and the games. Just gives people something to do and to entertain them during the the more slow periods. And I've got some, uh, I've got some viewers in my community who just hammer the games. So I just put exclamation point games, and then uh, it, it lists all the games. I have let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve games. Roulette. I got a Russian roulette. I got a Jenga. Battle. I've got like some RPG which no one no one has figured out yet, but it's there. <laughs> so like if anybody um wants, you know, to spend some time doing something a little different, they can check out those games and, and keep themselves entertained for a little while. So um 
My second favorite way to use currency, um, I mentioned this earlier, but we'll, we'll dive, di dive in a little bit. When a community member does something positive for the stream, we can reward them by giving them uh, currency. And so um, one example of this that's happened recently Slayer. is we'll see what you can do. when I asked for feedback. I said, hey, what do you think about this part of the stream? Like, is the video clear? Like, can you hear me properly? And, uh, you know, that feedback as a content creator is pretty important. And people could easily just sit there and ignore you. But, like, a couple people, you know, they go the extra mile. They give you they give you good feedback. They might be honest with you when, like, a lot of people won't be honest. They'll, they'll be like... Look, man, you really got to fix this thing or whatever. And like, hey, that was awesome because I might not have known that. And so, you know, here's some currency or whatever. Here's here's 50 currency, weenies, whatever you want to call them. And um, or, you know, you, you notice a particular community member who's not a mod or, or is a mod. But, you know, they're, they're you, you notice they're greeting all the new people and talking to them and you know, they're not being self-promotional, but they're just like, hey, how's it going? How's your day? Or whatever. And just being like a welcoming person, like that could be something that you credit somebody with that. Or maybe somebody's having a tough time and another community member helps them out. Maybe you throw them some weenies just for like making the community a better place to be. But, you know, just reward people for doing awesome stuff for your community. Uh, my, third, my third favorite way to use currency... Uh, just when the chat isn't popping. So, as a streamer, you get into these situations where it's like, oh man, no one's talking to my chat. Am I doing something wrong? I see I've got a couple viewers, but no one's talking. How can I, how can I get people talking? Well, here's how. You take, um, and this is another reason why I like Streamlabs Chatbot. You can, uh, you can assign currency to anybody. And you can you can uh, get the currency out of thin air and just give it to them. So um, let's just say I'll be playing a game. Like let's just say I'm, I'm playing a game of Fortnite. I'll say something like, "Hey, if I get top three, if I get top three in this um, in this game, I everybody in here gets 75 weenies or something like that." And they'll all be like, "Yeah." And guess what? Guess what's happening? If they, if they're a viewer who who cares about the currency. They're going to stick around to the end of that game to see if they win. Because if they leave, especially if they leave the, ch the stream and don't leave it open, they're not going to get the credit for that. Because when you when you give out that currency, they need to be in there, obviously. And, and in Streamlabs Chatbot, if anybody's curious about this, by the way, in Streamlabs Chatbot, there's a command you can use to give everybody in your um, currently in your str watching your stream or in your chat a certain amount of currency. And uh, I had to dig into the documentation to find it, but I'll, I'll share it with Double. you if you ask. Ask me in the YouTube video uh, comments, and I'll, I'll answer that. Um, so that's just a way to foster engagement, to get people to get people chatting in your stream. Just like, or, you know, you're playing, you're playing follower games with somebody. Hey, anybody who gets more kills than me in this game, you're going to get 100 credit or a hundred currency it's like well geez and all of a sudden you got more people wanting to do follower games more people uh, staying in your stream which gets you higher up on the directory which gets you <laughs> Batman's over there um, you know it gets you higher up on the directory which gets you more viewers and all of a sudden you're getting you're getting channel growth all because of this currency strategy that I'm talking about right now all right let's talk about the next one my next favorite way, this is number four. My next favorite way to use currency is with giveaways. So uh, what a lot of people do, and I think it's in error a lot of the times, is when they do giveaways every single time, they'll give equal weight to people who, um, to people who are brand new to the stream and people who are long-time followers and supporters and I don't I'm not crazy about that because if somebody's been there for you for the last few months or whatever for years whatever they should get some kind of 
you know, some kind of bonus or something in the uh, in the giveaway. So, in my very first giveaway, what I did was, um, hey, whoever's got the most currency by the end of the, by by midnight wins the giveaway. So what what ended up happening was really interesting. We ended up having a battle. And so we had two people going back to back. And they were just going back to back playing uh, gambling games. And like seeing like uh, who, who was going to have the most at this at a certain time. And I think we had one guy go on this run for like two hours straight. He, li he like couldn't lose at the heist or the, or the roulette or whatever it was. And um, it was just made for an interesting night of like everybody battling to see who was going to have the most. Right, um, so that was a, that was a fun night and just a fun way to use currency that I haven't seen anybody else do before. Um, but at the same time, I probably discouraged any new people from <laughs> from hanging out because they had no, they probably felt like they had no chance of like you know winning. And then the next thing I like to do with my currency, this is number five sounds. So what I did was I set up some commands in my in my uh, Streamlabs chatbot to play a sound whenever somebody runs a command. However, to prevent that from happening way too often, what I did was I assigned a currency value to that. So if they wanted to run a sound, and I'll, pl I'll play one right now. This is a, a recording of just me saying oof. I think it costs like five currency. So yeah, it's just, it's just me saying oof. Because it's something that a lot of people in my chat say. So I just recorded myself saying, oof, in a really goofy way. And that, you know, that's something that they can purchase with their with their currency. And, um, I have other stuff that they can purchase with currency, which we'll get to next. But sounds have been pretty popular. It's, it's actually pretty funny you know, as a broadcaster to hear those sounds come up in different ways and I put limits on it too, like the enemy's about to win. I make it so that people can't spam the sounds over and over again. Like multiple people can play the sound the same sound, but the same person can't run the same can't run multiple sounds back to back. You got five minutes Watch left. Sneaky. So I'll never get spammed by the same person over and over again. So if they did spam me with sounds it'd have to be a pretty coordinated effort. And I'd actually laugh because that'd be awesome. <laughs> And so, uh, that, that leads us to number seven. I'm sorry, number six, song requests. So, uh, I use currency a little bit strategically here, because I do allow song requests most, most nights um, when I'm streaming. And I set it up so you have to have at least 25 currency to make your first song requests. Because what a lot of people like to do is um, they'll come in, n you know, never being there before, and they'll play like a really either like racist song or something like really homophobic or something like that. They'll play it, and um, and so I I made it so you, hey you have to at least be be here long enough to get 25 currency to to even request the song, and that pretty much cuts out all that. All the all the trolley trolley types of songs, and then once people play a song, I think I made it free for a while. I think I went back to making it like 10 credits or 10 currency per song request, just because um, people were playing too many goofy songs and like weren't weren't taking the time. They were being kind of sloppy. Like, I try to I try to keep the song request to be family friendly. It's actually been really challenging because a lot of the YouTube, maybe maybe a to oh a tie, maybe a topic for another video. But a lot of the song requests that people will do, it'll say clean on the YouTube because it's powered by YouTube, but it's not actually clean. But maybe a topic for another uh, video. But one more thing I wanted to mention on the topic of song requests and currency is the fact that um, I I allow people to sk skip so. Inevitably, somebody's not going to like a song that someone else requested, and they're going to want to skip it. Well, I'll say, hey, you can vote to skip this song, but it's going to cost you five credits. So now they got to think, well, you know, I'm trying to be number one. Do I really want to sit here and skip this song and, and use my use my credits up or whatever? So, uh, and then it also takes three skip votes to skip the song. All right, and my final 
my final note on this topic, the topic of currency, and my thoughts on it. Um, it allows you, and uh, it's my, and, you know my seventh favorite way to use currency, just to reward people for watching and lurking. So as a Twitch broadcaster, you probably know by now that each directory, each game listing, whatever you want to call it, is ordered in terms of who has the most viewers at this point in time. Every single viewer counts. Every single view ca viewer, especially in the early days, when you're scrounging for your first few viewers or whatever, every single viewer counts. So, um, if you notice somebody lurking, you can you can incentivize people to lurk your channel. It's probably my biggest tip, to be honest with you. You can incentivize people to lurk your channel Slayer. by, um, see what you, can do. you know, just throwing out random currency um, to everybody in the chat at a certain time, everybody watching the video at a certain time, or just, like, ran randomly. Like, I'm going to do it right now. If you guys were in here, you'd be getting it. So, I'm, I'm giving everybody in the chat 100. And so that's a, you know, that's a pretty sizable, you know currency giveaway or whatever you want to call it currency transfer so uh, and you do that every once in a while to kind of keep people around it you know it, it could be the thing that keeps people there after they're like they might want to leave it's like oh well if I leave and he does a random currency giveaway and I'm not there for that well that kind of stinks because I'm trying to be top three you know in this in this um, community's top 10 currency <laughs> Oh, almost hit the shot. All right. Well, that's going to do it for my currency video. If you're seeing this on YouTube, I would appreciate a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that stuff helps more people find it. helps me. And it's awesome, and I appreciate all that stuff. And I, I'm, getting to, I'm getting to reply to everybody's comments ASAP. So make sure to comment if you're... If you like the content, and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go on over to Twitch. You'll find the link in the description below. Give me a follow. And, yeah, come by my next live stream. All right, everybody, that's going to do it. Have a great day.